Yeah, I mean, and that's that's exactly why I fell in love with this kind of jujitsu too, because it was like, for one thing, it's it's like you know doing a lot of traditional martial arts. A lot of times, you know, you go into a karate class or a taekwondo class, and um, my experience anyway was that you know you okay, everybody line up, get into this stance do this block a thousand times, yeah. do this, you know, learn this kata or whatever. And it's like, before you even have a contextualized two-step sparring situation or anything, uh, it's, it's way on down the line. And, and first exposure that I had to Gracie Jiu Jitsu was like, okay, here's how you get out of a headlock. And I'm like, that, okay, that's awesome. That's immediately accessible. I get the reference. I, I understand where this is going to happen, you know, now, um, but yeah, it's like you said too. It's it's constantly evolving, and it's not only the the leg game that comes to mind for me whenever I think about American jiu jitsu or I think about um, you know the more modern jiu jitsu game. It's wrestling. There's so much wrestling incorporated into it. There's so much uh, else. So for me, um, the, I felt like it was kind of an open source martial art whenever I came into it. Um, the the to see something stylized and traditional in jujitsu these days, and, and especially Brazilian like style like jujitsu, it's it feels weird. It feels like a counter to the culture that I initially like understood. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you can you can even find things back in the the you know the fifties, I guess, probably sixties, seventies, that when it came over from. Um, you know, Japanese jiu-jitsu converting into the Brazilian paradigm and getting those new eyes and those new hands on it. Um, and, you know, you think about up through the 80s, whenever people like Hickson and, and Hollis and, and the, the Gracie family members were going to Sambo tournaments and they were going to wrestling tournaments and they were cross-training with other people. And so there was, a, there was an element of it. They were keeping it, uh, in, in my estimation of it, they were keeping it real and keeping it um, philosophically and uh, like, structurally jujitsu it was staying jujitsu mm-hmm. but it was like hey there's a better way to do this double leg takedown there's a better way to do this throw there's a better way to do this arm lock you know this catch wrestler over here has a pretty good way of you know putting this into perspective here so i mean and i think to, to me i always like to see people that are very open-minded i always like to see styles and systems that are willing to adopt and to learn and to you know to, to bring things in from from different arts now i totally get how that can be a good and bad thing uh, because it can, it can be a bad thing. You know, just because you see something cool over here doesn't mean that it needs to come in and supplant something else that you've already been doing a certain way for a number of years. You know, it, it still needs to be tested out and really analyzed and, and kind of be put through the test of time a little bit. But uh, I think that that, that door should stay open though, you know? So, yeah. and, and regardless of what element of, of jujitsu it is, man, if it's sport, if it's, if it's against MMA, it's, um, it's more competition or it's more self-defense, whatever, 